So I hope you have a wonderful Monday guys and I welcome you from Germany because we are celebrating the last trading day in August. We are having the 31st of August and this means that we are starting in a brand new month and we are having an exciting day because we have the Tesla split, right? So Elon Musk obviously is always... Um, yeah, happy and exciting. And we will talk about that obviously in the stream. Uh, moreover, you have to imagine that we are, even today, pre-market 3.6% plus already, okay, on Tesla stock. So this will be exciting how Tesla stock will react. Uh, I didn't thought about that. Uh, we have a, a, a positive day. So it seems we have the last rally in August, uh, but uh, I would like to know where you are watching from guys, okay? Uh, don't forget to smash that like button directly in the beginning. This helps obviously the stream and the channel and is totally free of charge for you. Other than that, uh, let's have a look into the agenda today. I would like to talk about a couple of things uh, here. So first of all, I would like to uh, welcome some new members that joined. Uh, then we will talk about some breaking news, uh, which you should be aware of as of this morning. Uh, doesn't matter where you are uh, watching from in, in, in Asia. In Asia, we are already a little bit uh, during the day or in the afternoon already, right? While uh, Europe is still in the morning um, and then uh, US, Canada and all of these other countries are still very, very young in the morning. Uh, however, we will then talk about some Tesla Apple stock splits and uh, what you can expect and how it looks like pre-market. And then we will talk about also Warren Buffett. Uh, he makes big moves in Japan. So this will be quite interesting. And uh, before we diving in, let's have a look uh, who is here and uh, where we are watching from. So we have people from New York City, guys. It's 6 a.m. in New York City. Um, then we have um, Portugal as well. Then we have Singapore. Um, then we have... Um, Netherlands as well and Germany as well. So quite a European audience today. Obviously, you know, you have a 12 uh, <laughs> noon time in Europe. So it's pretty much obvious that uh, most of our viewers will be from uh, Europe. But uh, I would like to dive now into those members. And uh, first of all, we have Iron Maiden is joining. Um, our Ultimate Wolf membership. Um, then we have Brian uh, Failtwa. I hope I, I, I said it right. He is joining the Real Wolf. So if you are wondering what is this membership, I think this is the greatest uh, community add-on that is offered here on YouTube in the stock financing sector. Um, so uh, click the join button. Okay, below all my videos and you can join uh, the best community out there. Um, here I made a small in, um, yeah, illustration. This is the join button that you need to look for below all my videos and then you can join either, you know, one of three tiers. The gold tier is to support the channel, so similar to Patreon. Then you have the real wolf uh, that Brian joined, for example. This is the Discord channel access where we talk 24 hours about stocks, about topics uh, that we discuss here on this channel. And uh, then we have also um, the Ultimate Wolf. This is one-on-one with me. So if you have any 
kind of questions to so stocks or your portfolio or general some idea about the economy or want to just uh, chat with me on a regular basis then this is something for you it's like a mentorship yeah i wish i had something like this with someone uh you know i'm doing this professionally obviously so um uh, this is great for beginners but also for, for some people that just need uh, someone to go along those investing routes i i know how hard it is alone so uh, this is something that i offer and i think this is tremendous value so check it out and it's less than your usual uh, uh, netflix membership that just costs you time here we can make money together so think th think about it check it out and uh, let's dive into the news so china uh, mega banks lost billions of dollars obviously um this is like a headline but it seems uh, this is totally normal over the next couple of uh, years or, or months to come that uh, those banks will lose a lot of money because we and this is i think while we see a little of a downturn in banks so especially those investment banks in the us doesn't really recovered so far and are not so uh, under the top performers um, I, I can uh, go with you quickly into the charts of the big banks and, and we can have a look. But uh, what's actually happening, you can imagine that these big banks have loans to businesses and some businesses obviously failing during this of, oh, huge crisis and therefore banks need to post, post some losses, right? In billions of dollars um, in a profit because uh, they have just so much bad loans, especially to the small and medium uh, business section and uh, yeah this is a headline this morning obviously this goes throughout the world not only in China and uh, let me have a look if we can pull this uh, pull this out here just to show you what's happening so let's say let's say let's say Goldman for example okay Goldman and Sachs and we will look into the chart and have a look and compare it for example this is now Goldman and Sachs here in Goldman and Sachs blue. Okay, so let's have a look and compare it to the S&P 500, for example. All right, the S&P 500, we will put it in purple. So as you can see, the S&P 500 or the general market index in the US uh, recovered quite nicely and is now year to date with 8% plus, while um, Goldman and Sachs is 10% in the red and uh, can i yeah let me put some more banks just to make it more clear so G gp morgan and chase let's put them in red right now here even even much lower okay um and who else uh, we have morgan and stanley for example is also a big bank in the us um also not that good like the general market so all perform quite or especially you know uh, um, gp morgan as well as goldman and sachs is, is really bad uh, but uh, the uh, morgan stanley is uh, at least positive for the year so as you can see banks are not really uh, great right now let's see deutsche bank um deutsche bank with uh, deutsche bank is uh, doing quite well um for the bank sector but other than that as you can see the banks are quite heavily affected by those crises as well so this is important to understand here um and let's dive further into the next uh, topic which you know i feel like we always try to talk about less and less uh, the health crisis but uh, you know while we are celebrating the stock splits on the market or other things uh, we are still you know having the biggest health crisis that we have seen in a very 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 uh, long time right so uh, the um, we have now 25 million people affected by that uh, and India records the biggest single jump on a day so as you can see this is uh, quite concerning to see that 
uh, some companies um, and obviously countries are fighting with this still very very actively it's not like it's over uh, we are still waiting for some solutions right and uh, once those solutions will be presented to us uh, this should give another upturn for the market so but we have seen with the S&P 500 how affected this uh, index is by this digitalization that is going, currently going on and this big big gainers uh, through this crisis like Amazon Microsoft um, and Amazon for example or Apple right um, but there's more and more voices uh, saying now guys be warned okay uh, we can face some trouble so uh, the Mr. Art Hogan is uh, usually a bull on the market uh, he is actually saying that uh, we are going with the S&P 500 into an overbought territory. And, you know, if you're reading this, obviously this first gives you like a, like a caution mechanism. Okay, you see this and you say, wow, what's, what's going on? But think about it that, you know, we had a pretty good run so far. So a pullback of 10 um, plus percentage a small correction is totally healthy guys and would be actually quite good to not uh, overheat the market especially you know with stocks also like tesla right i mean tesla investors and Elon musk are, are dancing to those uh, stocks gains but uh, you know you need also a little bit of a downturn for the stock just to cool down a little bit this would be quite healthy <laughs> even though as a bull uh, you don't want to see those at all but uh, it's it's healthy to further uh, have a really good uh, outcome of the stock long term so um, but anyway the stock market doesn't care we are having a positive start into the brand new week the S&P 500 futures are plus 0.31 percentage almost the same with uh, Dow Jones as well as the Nasdaq Nasdaq a little bit higher um, and the US futures and this is the the, the fun correlation right okay um, you know currently the market in Europe is already open but they are looking what's going on on the pre-market in the futures in the US and to what happened in the in the Asian market, right? Because the Asian market opens first, um, and then when the futures in the U.S. are negative, then also the markets in Europe, uh, depending on the situation, are checking. Okay, what's going on in the U.S.? Maybe something that we don't know. And then once U.S. market opened, um, and then we have you know the balancing out, and then A Asia is closing, and Asia actually following the U.S. market. Then the next day, let's say then a huge rally comes up in the U.S. market. So the U.S. market is really the key market here uh, for worldwide development, right? So this is quite interesting and and uh, curious to see. I mean, no wonder if you are thinking about that the biggest companies out there currently like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Facebook, Netflix, all of these products that you are using on daily basis all coming from US companies. Yeah, The biggest, uh, I, I just read, I think I said it in the live stream yesterday, the biggest gains are currently coming from the, uh, co fr from, from the, oh no, sorry, the tech index is bigger than the whole market in Europe, okay? So this is quite interesting to see how big of a market cap and value is really hoarding there in the US, all right? So let's dive into Tesla. So I uh, looked into some pre-market data for you already this morning, and uh, let's have a look. So this is, as of this morning, um, we see now it uh, uh, went a little bit down, but we are pl plus 2.72 percentage pre-market. Um, so the, the rally goes on, right? The rally goes on for Tesla shareholders, which is uh, obviously very, very uh, fantastic for those who are still 
betting hugely on Tesla. I saw, you know, many in the community. I saw it uh, in the Discord chat. I saw it, you know, uh, all over the internet. So people just a couple of days took out some money, but you never can expect that just because it gained 20% that it will go up uh, or, or down uh, uh, soon, okay? It can go up for a longer time and uh, you, you never can time the market. It was even 270 pre-market highs. This was the highest that we have seen uh, as of pre-market numbers, so to, uh, 4 to 70. So this was a huge gain, guys, okay? Um, however, we are somewhere bouncing now at 454 levels, uh, a plus of almost 3%. So interesting how this will play out over the day. And let's have a look also into Apple. Um, so let's have a look. Apple. Apple is also positive pre-market as you can see here with uh, one 36 percentage as of this moment. So uh, this is also nice to see for all those Apple, Apple bulls that we are currently positive. So if this will hold over the day, I have no idea. It seems the market looks quite positive today. So I guess yes. And uh, so the party goes on for now. All right, so the party goes on for now, guys. I'm super happy for those who are very long Tesla. I, I mean, uh, I'm very happy for those subscribers that are here with me since 2019. Uh, those was the biggest gains that we can make in the stock. Uh, now, obviously, the uh, gain potential in Tesla stock gets less and less uh, on the short term or mid term, obviously, right? I mean, how big of a Tesla stock or a market cap we can have, right? There need to be some more triggering of uh, Tesla milestones and accomplishments. But never underestimate Elon Musk and his team and Tesla stock, right? Um, make sure to thumb up this live stream if you liked it so far and the content that's coming out here on a daily basis. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my second channel as well, guys. Okay, this is also very important for me and for you if you don't want to miss any content that is coming out in one month's time. Uh, so make sure to ring the bell there as well. And if you don't want to miss anything else, I also post regularly on my Instagram, some breaking news, some fun stuff, uh, something else uh, from Dubai, when I'm Dubai, when I'm in Germany, some stuff from my daily life in Germany. So check it out, Wolf of Dubai Danny. Just pull out your Instagram right now, follow me there and you will be all set, okay? And uh, let's have a look into those comments. Let's have a look into those comments, guys. Um, so we are having here, uh, Las Vegas, uh, Chris, our Neo Bull is uh, here, also a regular on the stream. Then we have uh, Sammy, who is actually coming uh, from uh, Saudi Arabia, guys, okay? Even the Middle East is online here, one of our members. Um, then we have uh, Tumas from Finland. Then we have uh, Shock City Rocker from Mars even. Okay, we have people from Mars. Can you imagine? I even didn't know that uh, we have already people in Mars uh, already, but they are viewers of this channel. This is fantastic. Do we have also people from Disneyland? If yes, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> um, then we have people from UK, Israel. Um, then there we have uh, Tesla Bull saying, we hope that we have $500 today or end of this month. So uh, yeah, let's let's see. I'm super, uh, I'm super excited how we will for the play out, but there's a lot and lot of people uh, that having, uh, Raphael having now 35 stocks, congratulations. Um, and what else? Um, then we have uh, also uh, Jamal Rice is uh, looking our stream or watching our stream from Caribbean and eating sea grapes at the beach. Well, this is a fantastic, uh, this is a fantastic <laughs> setup, guys. So um, yeah, let's dive further into one last topic, which is Warren Buffett, guys. And the the funny thing about Warren Buffett is. When Warren Buffett is doing something, okay, the world is watching and uh, he's actually doing something um, that 
is quite unusual for him, all right? So Warren Buffett, the breaking news here on my uh, Yahoo Finance is that he took a five percentage stake of each of the biggest trading companies in Japan, okay? So those are said or referred to as Sugu Sosha in Japan and uh, I don't know if I pronounce them correctly and maybe we have some people from Japan that you know can correct me but we have Itochu Corporation, Maru Bini Corporation, Mitsubishi Corporation, Mitsui Corporation and Sumitomo Corporation. All of those uh, four, five companies are one of the biggest uh, trading companies in Japan. So he's betting in Japan and what is funny about that, that is, um, so, so his state his statement to that that what we released with it yesterday by the way he he got 90 guys he got 90 years old so um he is maybe trying to do something new uh while uh, getting older but he his statement that was released to that as well was the faith five major trading companies have many joint ventures throughout the world and are likely to have more of these partnerships okay and uh, I hope that in the future there might be opportunities of mutual benefit. And what he's actually doing sometimes, guys, what is um, what you need to understand, he's building like a network out of companies. And this company works with this company, gets more revenue because they make a deal and so on. So he is really clever sometimes in building huge, huge ne networks that benefit from each other, obviously. And uh, what else is also uh, very important is that, you know, billionaires try to uh, benefit their own pockets. So therefore, you know, if they see this can really benefit from this company or this could be a supplier with this company. So, you know, all of those companies are gaining some value and in the end, you know, all his portfolio going up uh, rather than uh, money flow going out of this, uh, his own portfolio. So this is quite important to understand that those uh, billionaires are very clever. Um, other than that, you know, it's a little bit uh, diversified from his view of betting on America, right? He is betting on America. He thinks that this is the greatest economy. I think so too. So um, this is quite interesting to see that he's doing this moves. Um, okay, so if you want to join our membership and have even more content and talk with me or whatsoever, check out the join button below all my videos to get the Wolf of Dubai membership. Other than that, I uh, thank you so much. Stay healthy and um, I hope to see you today. I will release a new Neo vlog. So check it out and don't forget also to check out the latest episode on uh, Tesla Sundays. Yesterday I released this vlog. So check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, very, very um, much uh, appreciated for all those views, obviously. I think uh, I posted it yesterday and got already already almost 10,000 views. So thank you very much for that. Check it out if you haven't or smash that like button if you haven't. Uh, this is very important. <clears throat> and I uh, wish you a fantastic start into the week. The fantastic start into uh, the last day of August. And I hope you have a brilliant weather and stay healthy and safe and have a very positive and happy day. Uh, take care and I see you just in a couple of hours with my daily vlog.